Hi there, and welcome at Smelly Art. Look what I found in my mailbox. This is a package from my good friend and amazing YouTube artist, Dr. Rocke. Hi guys. He did a giveaway on his YouTube channel and his computer randomly picked my comment as the winner, so yay. So I thought it was a fun idea to unbox this together with you guys. But first of all, of course, I want to thank Dr. Rocke for the amazing gift. Thank you, man. I really appreciate this. Now so let's unbox this thing. Alrighty then. Okay, let's open this up. I already know what I'll find inside here, and if you saw Dr. Rocka's video, you know it as well. This is a very cool watercolor set made by Artistro, an American family brand of art supplies, and I'll put a link to their website in the description. Included is a small pad of 10 sheets of watercolor paper, and of course the pièce de résistance, the watercolor set itself, which is kept in a very elegant tin box, ideal for travel or outside painting. Inside you'll find a swatch sheet, a small brush, a pencil and eraser, and a very cool water brush pen. And of course, the 48 colors. Everything you really need to make some amazing paintings. For paper, I'm using Daler Roni watercolor paper. This pad is A4 in size and is hot pressed, which means the paper has a very smooth surface. Cold pressed paper has a more bumpy surface and I guess it all comes down to personal preference which one you want to use. Now what shall I paint? As this video is sponsored by Dr. Rocka in a way, I think it's only fitting I'll go for a superhero. So let's paint the Man of Steel, Superman. And oh guys, in the unlikely event, if you never heard of Dr. Rocka before, go check out his channel and subscribe, I promise you it's worth it. Thank you. Let's draw! Superman is a superhero character who first appeared in American comic books published by DC Comics. The character was created by writer Jerry Siegel and artist Joe Shuster and first appeared in the comic book Action Comics No. 1 in 1938. Superman has been adapted to a number of media which include radio serials, novels, movies, television shows and theater. Superman was born on the planet Krypton and was given the name Kal-El at birth. As a baby, his parents sent him to Earth in a small spaceship moments before Krypton was destroyed in a natural cataclysm. His ship landed in the American countryside near the fictional town of Smallville. He was found and adopted by farmers Jonathan and Martha Kent, who named him Clark. Clark developed various superhuman abilities such as incredible strength and impervious skin. His adoptive parents advised him to use his abilities for the benefit of humanity and he decided to fight crime as a vigilante. Clark Kent resides in the fictional American city of Metropolis, where he works as a journalist for the Daily Planet. Superman is the classic archetype of the superhero character. He wears an outlandish costume, uses a code name, and fights evil with the aid of extraordinary abilities. Although there are earlier fictional characters that fit this definition, such as Zorro or the Phantom, it was Superman who popularized and established its conventions. Superheroes are usually judged by how closely they resemble the standard set by Superman. He was the best-selling superhero character in American comic books up until the 1980s. Okay, the pencil sketch is done, time to break out these watercolors now, this is going to be great fun. Let's go!
Well, that's it for this week's video. I hope you guys like my watercolor piece. And a big thanks again to Dr. Rocker for his amazing watercolors. I really like them and I will use them in future watercolor videos for sure. So watch out for that. And if you guys liked the video, why not hit the like button, subscribe if you aren't already, and hit the bell to be notified when I put out new videos. It's every Friday, a great way to start the weekend. And if you want to help me and this channel even more, please share this content on all your social media platforms, it helps a lot. I wish you all a great weekend my friends, we will see each other again next Friday. Bye!